just high or just shy of the 6,600 pound mark, the 293QBCKXYZLMLP Catalina here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Believe it or not, each of those letters does mean something. It's got about a 29 foot box. It's about 33 feet tip to tail. The weight definitely falls within the realm of half ton towability, but keep in mind it is long and the length of an RV can work adversely against a short wheelbase vehicle. So if you have a long bed half ton, you'll probably feel a little more comfortable here assuming a heavier tow package. If you have a short bed lighter tow package, you're probably going to feel uncomfortable towing this one. Now, uh, if you're not sure what your vehicle can handle, call us and we'll make sure we put your safety before the sale. This one's really interesting in a lot of ways because like the QBCK, that means quad bunk camp kitchen. LE means uh, legacy or whatever they're calling this thing here. The um, thing though is that the L bunk arrangement on this one makes it good for not just kids, but it could also fit the big teens and adults. And another thing is it's a quad bunk that can sleep five. A lot of very interesting different kind of qualities that go into this one. And there's a lot to love here. And I think that there's a lot more going on than meets the eye. And that's why I like doing these videos because I think that if you just glanced at this camper, you wouldn't quite catch on to all of the good features it has going on. Like you can see the lighter, brighter color palette. That is nice. It's warm. It's welcoming. It's not really dark and oppressive in here. But at a glance, you might not pick up on the taller ceiling that's in here. Um, a lot of trailers in this class are only six and a half foot tall. Now, J Flights, the Big Wildwoods, and all Catalinas, they're all six foot nine inside. And as a taller person, that's something I really like about them. Where it's really going to make a difference is when I get into the shower in a few minutes. Well, ooh, ooh, that was phrased poorly. That is not what I meant. But I think you get the idea. I'm going to give you a little snippet of me standing in the shower, fully clothed, <laughs> so that you get an idea what I'm talking about here. Now, um, previously in the Legacy series, that 12-volt DC compressor fridge right there, that was an optional piece of equipment. They have since made it standard, however. So if you're not familiar with these, these have become like one of the biggest surge updates where a ton of brands have jumped on this bandwagon very quickly, and I'm very happy for it. Because this is a larger refrigerator, it cools faster, it is 100% travel safe because there's no open flames or anything like that. But you notice how there's not even a light on. These 12 volt fridges, usually they can be turned off, and this one has an off button, but it doesn't totally turn off. Just the compressor turns off. It can still sort of suck some life out of the battery. And Catalina does an extra thing here. And Catalina does a bunch of little extra things. They include for us a kill switch dedicated just for that refrigerator. It's those extra things they do here. Most brands just don't that you're, you're gonna see define and separate Catalina. Their uh, oven and stovetop, you can activate the knob lights uh, independently of the light on the inside. So basically you can turn the knobs and the inside lighting on or just the knob lighting on for like a nightlight effect. Now, all of the countertops in here, not just in the kitchen, but all the way around are a sealed edge press membrane and Coachman was the first to standardize that. Everybody else is really copying what Catalina had done here years ago. Don't don't laugh at me, by the way. The RV's not level. I had to keep that door open. It kept wanting to swing shut on me. But I wanted you to get to see the plywood full extension drawers, not particle board with a sticker wrap. Why don't you get to see that big farm sink and the high-rise sprayer faucet? All those easy reach outlets right there with a handy phone charge instead of USB plugs. All of our cabinetry, by the way, is pocket screw. J Flight does the same thing, but in this class, you get about 50 50. Now, there's nothing really wrong with stapled fastener cabinetry. It's just that the idea behind uh, pocket screwed cabinetry is, in theory, stronger lasts longer. I don't exactly see stapled cabinetry fail with any kind of frequency around here at Halet RV, but I'm going to give you the information of what the different brands are doing so you understand kind of the, the pieces, parts, equipment difference, and maybe some of the cost vector difference between the two of them. And as you can see, they got created with the storage under the seating, every which way but loose. We're going to see some good storage back in the uh, bunk room. But first, door number two on the left, or is that door number one? I don't know. Whatever it is, we're going in the bathroom. Because I don't know about you, but I feel like going to the bathroom right now. Um, <clears throat> I don't... Thankful, not, not that, I just mean going to it. Never mind, you get the idea. Uh, <clears throat> we're gonna change gears. Leg room, decent leg room in here. Now this is not intended to be like some big giant fifth wheel with tons of leg room, but they give you enough. And also elbow, shoulder, hip room. 
The kind of cutaway of the countertop right there, super handy for bigger folks. A uh, little bit of a fluffy, friendly design, if you will. That counter space right there, by the way, very nice to have a place to set down like a blow dryer or a shaver next to that GFI protected outlet. If you don't know what that means, basically, uh, it means you're not gonna go like you're getting, you know, making toast in a bathtub. You're not gonna get zippity zapped. Um, <laughs> anyway, over here, I'd like some feedback on this. It throws some people off. They're using a shower pan, not a tub over here. And that some people are like, man, a bunkhouse, don't you need a tub to, to bathe kids? The way I see it, you don't tend to spend a lot of time in here, and RVs don't typically hold enough water to really take a bath. So the easy step in and out shower makes sense. Not to mention, with this being 6'9 tall, you saw that I have a lot of extra headroom in here. Now here's a handy little camp and pro tip for you. If you're struggling uh, to find a place to put something like a broom, you see the shower curtain right here, and the handy little like uh, Velcro tie back ring. Basically, wrap the broom up in the shower and uh, in the shower curtain, rather, and just wrap that little Velcro band around it, and voila! You have yourself built in broom storage, basically. You just gotta make sure you don't end up taking a shower with the broom when you take that off. But it's very, very handy for traveling. Now, something I should have had you do when this video began is grab like a scrap piece of paper and start making little tally marks every time we find a fine detail on a Catalina here, like a sliding pocket privacy door instead of a curtain. Uh, like that light switch, not the light switch, I guess the refrigerator switch that looks like a light switch. Those little things. Don't turn it into a drinking game. Catalina does a lot of good stuff. You'll end up with alcohol poisoning. But this is another one. They give you the ability just to go, yo! Lights out, kids. And I, I don't know. I think the yo is optional. I've always seen it done that way. It's described that way in the owner's manuals. Uh, like, probably. I don't know. The fact that all of the windows, all the windows open for airflow. You have lights for each individual bed space. Household USB outlets where you need them. And again, remember, I described this as a quad bunk that can sleep five. We are going to get to see this in a number of different arrangements. But right now... What I've got it in is what I'm gonna call recliner mode. But because these cubes are completely floating, you could do whatever you wanted back here. For instance, the open space, you could take the cubes out entirely. You could turn this into a pack and play center or just a rear playroom for rainy day space. Or you could fold them down and you could get yourself a big, big sleeping space here. And that is how this quad bunk can sleep five. But the other thing, remember, I also said that this is really good for taller people because you've got that wall to wall extra long bunk there. When you fold those cube jobs out, you have an extra long sleeping space down here. The u is extra large. It can do a lot of things. But ladies and gentlemen, the most important of which is most certainly the Catalina Battle Fort. It is also known as Fort Badalina. What did our password want to be today? How about peanut butter and jelly? Now, if we're sitting back here in those recliner spaces, this is what you're going to see. There's actually a nice corner entertainment center there, and look at all that handy cabinet space. And this is probably one of the greatest qualities of the 293 QBCK XYZ Elemental P Catalina here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. All that good storage capacity. Bunk rooms, typically, they just don't have spit for storage. And this one does not suffer from that problem. Dedicated hanging closet for the kids and dresser space for days. Not to mention you could make like one of those uh, lower cabinets there on the way out the door. Ideal for like socks, because I don't know what it is. How do kids never have socks on when it's time to leave? What is that? Now as we step out of the bunk room, start heading back forward here, I want to take a look at the uh, living area in a little more detail. Plus, I don't think you've seen the kitchen without the cabinetry just all blown up and opened up every which way. It does have a very nice clean look when everything's not gaping wide open. But specifically, your attention to the front wall, please. We have that privacy bedroom door there. We also have an optional electric space heating fireplace taking the nip out of the air without burning up our propane. But you don't see a stereo, do you? It's because it's built into the TV. The TV basically has an integrated soundbar, but what's cool about that is it has dual zone entertainment. The TV remote can separately um, like manipulate the outside speakers versus the inside entertainment. You don't get details like that in a stick and tin camper. Not to mention the fact you're actually getting a TV from Catalina. 
Standard, J-Flight, Wildwood, Cherokee, none of them give you a TV. Catalina is here, though, in the Legacy series, and they're giving you a pretty darn cool one. Uh, now, over here, we saw the sofa open up for storage, but you can see that folding armrest. You can flip it up if you don't want it out of the way. I would say flip it off, but that's a different thing. <coughs> uh, anyway, um, simulated cinema seating, as I like to call it. The armrest can fold down. You got a couple cup holders there. It is a super duper handy thing. Now, if you need a place to charge devices, or if you, uh, they make these little um, inverters, by the way, that can plug into that cigarette lighter outlet style thing right there. So that if you do want to spend a little bit of time off grid, you could actually use that to say like power the TV or a couple other things like a fan in here. Speaking of fans, you might have noticed there's like a skylight up here above the kitchen, but if I get you right in there and let the camera adjust to it, you see how it's also got a power vent fan. Now that is a smaller power vent fan, and I do want to mention that their uh, stovetop vent hood is ventilating heat outside. So this has basically got dual ventilation, yet another Catalina detail that is easy to miss. But if you're interested in upgrading that to a larger fan, all you got to do is call our team here at Halet RV, and we have those things on the shelf pretty much all the time. And you know those big pillows that were on the dinette there? My wife says they've got a very good purpose. You can go like this. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Oh, that wife of mine. What a character, right? <laughs> Um, so full overhead cabinet again another little detail instead of just a shelf although at the legacy Catalina price point that is a pretty normal thing but I love these wide open side stands here um, if uh, you know you're feeling claustrophobic you don't like feeling boxed in you're gonna like having that not to mention household and USB plugs on both sides of the bed and as usual here at Halet RV, I like to give you a look at these things with the slide closed so that if you're flying down the road and you need to make a little travel stop, or have you ever noticed, like, right when you leave the gas station, you always ask the kiddos, hey, anybody got to use the potty? And they're like, no. And then five seconds later, they're like, I got to use the bathroom. You're like, are you absolutely kidding me right now? Uh, so when we're closed up, you know, the, the kitchen storage, all that countertop access space, the refrigerator, very easy to get to. That being said, we really can't get to the bunk room or the bathroom with the slide closed. Now you have an option here. This is a rack and pinion slide out. What that might mean to you uh, by name is nothing, but it means that this slide can be opened partially without damaging it. You don't want to leave it that way, but if you need to crack it just like six to nine inches just to get through that door uh, to get back to the bunk room, you can do that. Somebody's playing with the power tongue jack right now, by the way. That's why the lights are flickering on us. Um, it is a little bit tricky like if you want to make an overnight sleep stop obviously you want to be able to access that bunk room but the thing is remember we've got that sleeper dinette we have a sofa that can fold down depending on the size of the kids or guests or whoever you might be able just to sleep here in the living room you might be able to it depends on what you're willing to accept by the way here's a little rv pro tip for you um when you're traveling down the road don't leave the table up like I've done here. Put it down into the sleeper position. Even if you don't put the cushions on top of it, it'll help keep that table from sliding around and damaging your RV. And if you appreciate handy little tidbits like that, hit that subscribe button and follow along to us here because our goal is always to help you find your second camper the first time and to keep it in your driveway and out of the repair shop because isn't that what we both want? Now the physical construction of this RV is almost identical to say a Wildwood or a Cherokee and, and also extremely close to a J flight here at Halet RV. So I don't want to talk about where things are the same like the plywood floor decking. It's great but uh, pretty much anything else you're going to find at Halet RV has it. I want to show you where Catalina I think steps apart because every camper has those sharp individual qualities. We have what I love to call the drunken uncle leash latch over here because if you just open a Coors Light and I'm downwind for him and I'm going to get about two sheets to the wind. I'm as light of a lightweight as they come. That is a black tank flush which people wonder why is it over here on this side of the camper. The answer is because it'll actually flush the tank better since the tank and the bathroom are on this side of the RV. Uh, now that, that shiny fender trim we're looking at, I love that. That is an unsung hero quality to me because what that's going to do is it is basically it's going to be impervious to just like common weather fading you're going to have to smash and crash it up to cause an issue 
TV hookup, optional stable steps for easy come and go right here. And that is an anti-slam entry door with the large folding handle below the awning that has the insane patio lighting. Uh, after market, you can get one of those light strings that has like different strobes and colors and you can cause, you know, light induced seizures on the neighbors if they're sensitive to it and they don't like your music. You can just flip on your crazy lighting and cause them to go Although, you know, that is a serious medical issue. You, you don't want to obviously intentionally do that to somebody. You get the idea. I know we're just joking. Um, but the point is, Catalina's doing that from the factory instead of aftermarket. They're also giving us a large pass-through compartment here. You see it does truly go all the way through. And those handy magnet holdbacks right there, uh, giving us just a bare peek of uh, Pete the dog, make it for, you know, just kind of easier one-hand operation. Speaking of Pete, He's got himself some prime real estate on the front of this thing. Look at that. The color package and the just the impact and the contrast. Imagine looking in your rear view mirror and seeing that beauty staring at you. Couple other fine details for you. In our early footage, you saw the underbelly is enclosed. That's something Catalina does standard on all their legacy models. But the, the windows, they're all UV tinted. It's gonna keep the sunshine out, help keep it a little bit cooler in the camper. You only get that about 50% of the time in this class and segment. Power tongue jack doing the heavy lifting for us. And next to my little battery box that was giving us lights inside, you see a handy 12 volt disconnect switch. Now remember the refrigerator has its own kill switch, but that will make sure that parasitic load isn't eating your batteries up. Cause there's nothing worse than when you go to actually get hitched up, go out, have a lot of fun, and you hit the power tongue jack button, it goes Bleh! and it does jack squat. Now you gotta sit there with your vehicle plugged in to trickle charge the battery just enough so that you can actually, you know, hitch up and get going. <laughs> Nothing better than starting our trip one hour late, am I right? Our slide outs are triple sealed and you see that rough texture skin on that slide face right there? That is going to grab those seals to make sure that they actually wipe in and out the way they're supposed to and give you better seal contact. Uh, the RV, of course, has a fully walkable roof. Catalina does not, at this time, offer a ladder, by the way. I'll go ahead and proactively answer that one. Um, if you, uh, you know, appreciate the way we go out of our way to answer questions like that before you've even asked them, do me a favor and leave me a comment. Just go, hey, thanks. I was curious about the ladder because comments help us here at Halo RV. Now, I usually show these cargo racks in the up position. I thought, you know what? I'm going to take half a second, get my hands wet and cold. I'm going to flip that down so they can see that you do not need to take the spare tire off to operate that thing. And when you get to your destination and flip that down, that is when the outside utility shower becomes fully useful. But Catalina does a different thing. Most manufacturers leave the little cleat for the camp shower right there in that rectangle on the right-hand side on the door. Catalina moves it. They move it up high where it's basically head height. So if you actually do need to hose your head off or something like that, you can instead of having to crawl under the RV and lay on the ground to get that done. Uh, especially not pleasant on a day like today, I think. Um, <laughs> we're back up camera ready if you are so inclined. And this thing, I tell you, where they are most improved compared to last year is the way they have enhanced their camp kitchen. This low profile camp kitchen used to be virtually barren. There was like nothing in here. Now I've got that handy mini fridge, the uh, slide open um, camp griddle. And I love the fact that they put a galvanized rolled steel um, enclosure on it to actually, in a sense, give us some countertop space there. Now we talked about the drunken uncle leash latch, but we got the Barley Poppinator 37,000 series bottle opener right there. And that extra storage capacity they've given us here it's just those kind of killer devil in the details things that I see as a person who goes camping that get me all jazzed up about this because I think Catalina is a very easy brand to potentially overlook. And I think that is a big mistake because they have, they're, they're, they're the silent killer. You know what I mean? You may not realize it, but they're doing all the good things here. So if you like the... <laughs> I just turned into Mario. So if you lack of the look of the 293, <laughs> Luigi. All right, anyway, I'm done with that. I'll work on that in my own time. If you like the look of the 293 ABCD EFG Catalina back here, click the like button on the video and leave us some comments. Let us know what are your favorite qualities. And if you're not a fan, do me a favor and leave me some feedback and let me know what would you prefer to see or um, do you have any suggestions for Catalina that we can relay for you? And if you appreciate the information that we're giving you here at Halo RV, hit the subscribe button, follow along with us. We are family owned and operated, been here since 1989, back when the Pistons were really doing a good job. 
And uh, that's probably the last time I ever cared about basketball. <laughs> then I started getting into Nintendo and I would say girls, but they had nothing to do with me. <laughs> but enough about me, I digress. Appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for having a little fun with us today. Take care, stay safe, have fun. And remember, we don't do hidden dealer fees, everyone. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep.